everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today's recipe is going to be some mouth watering juicy tender jamaican jerk pork loads of authentic flavors this is just absolutely delicious So here I have some nicely washed pork belly and pork shoulder but any part of the pig would work just fine. Now I'm going to season this with some salt and just make sure both sides are nicely and evenly seasoned. And also I'm going to use some dry rub, some dry jerk seasoning and I'm using the chief brand which consists of all the authentic ingredients, pimento seeds, ginger garlic black pepper and this is not even salty this is just pure flavor just make sure both sides of the pork are nicely seasoned because we are going for some real intense authentic flavors and this dry rub to me is just perfect but you could definitely use what you have available no there is no way you could be making a jerk without a jerk marinade here i have the main ingredient when making a jerk marinade pimento seeds and these are also known as allspice berries and these have the flavors of cinnamon nutmeg cloves all combined in one these are just amazing so now to my blender i'm going to add some skeleton and thyme also i'm going to add some garlic and onion also going to add a few pieces of ginger because you can't be cooking pork without some ginger also i'm going to add some pimento peppers and these are not spicy these are just flavorful but you could definitely exclude them if you don't have them available another main ingredient is the scotch bonnet peppers and these are smelling really good but just use according to your spice tolerance and i'm going to remove the seeds so this jerk marinade is going to be quite flavorful but it's going to be mild in spice so as i mentioned just use according to your spice tolerance so now in with the pimento seeds also i'm going to add some browning to give it that jerk color also going to add some vinegar which helps to preserve it going to add a bit of sugar which is optional also going to add a splash of lemon or lime juice and i'm just going to put this to blend and you don't want to blend until it's smooth you want it to be nice and chunky and this jerk marinade is smelling oh my goodness this is smelling so so good so just make sure to season the pork nicely make sure you get every crevice and corner of this pork remember we are going for a great flavor so just season as nicely as you can did i mention how good this marinade is smelling oh my goodness this is smelling really really good so now you want to cover this down and you want this to sit and marinate for at least two hours but overnight would be even better i also like to make some pokes so the season could just soak within so this i've been soaking for overnight and it is smelling even better so now i'm going to place this into a large oven bowl right i'm going to scrape all the marinade in then i'm going to cover this down with some foil paper and to a preheated oven i'm going to allow this to jerk roast at about 200 to 210 degrees celsius for about one hour So 50 minutes later and this is looking and this is smelling absolutely delicious and this is really nice and tender and this doesn't even off the base because it already look moist it's practically falling off the bone so now i'm just going to remove some of the gravy and to that i'm going to add some barbecue sauce some ketchup and some sugar and this will make a nice thick sauce and now back in the oven uncovered raising the oven temperature i'm going to give this another 20 or 25 minutes to acquire that jerk charcoal effect a total of 1 hour and 30 minutes and this is done to perfection this is looking absolutely delicious you can't even tell this was done in the oven oh my goodness and when i tell you my kitchen smells amazing 
oven jerk pork marinade with the finest ingredients i also have another jerk pork recipe that was slowly cooked over pimento wood over the grill using charcoal i will post a link down in the description box and a full written recipe will also be listed down below i just want to thank you so very much for watching and remember if you like this video please do not leave without clicking the like button